Hi. In this video, we'll verify that everything is working as expected with our NetApp filer and its multi protocol share. Um, just as a recap, in the first video of the series, we basically copied a file uh, over SIFs and um, uh, we did that as uh, Jerry Seinfeld. And uh, the permissions of the file did not carry over, so notice that the user uh, is basically root with the group bin. Uh, so that's pretty much one of the, uh, the main issues with that. So um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it with a user that is known to this system. Um, if I do an AD query user on my, um, on my system, uh, only uh, Cosmo and George are known to the system. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, basically I, I already signed in to, um, to this machine as Cosmo. So I'm going to go ahead and, and browse to the NetApp filer and I'm going to go to home and um, let's just create a file so all you says is k and if i go back to my um uh, my uh, folder here notice that the new file k.txt actually carries over cosmo kramer's identity so if i even look at the um you know this is the the translated name but if I look at the output with LN, notice that the um, the UID of the user is carrying over. So this is the one right here for Kramer. And uh, as you can see, he's the owner of that file. Um, what we could do also is test with a user that is not known to the system and see how that works uh, from a different type of uh, platform. So um, I'm going to go to my Mac. In this Mac, I'm logged in as Larry David, right? And I already mapped this um, uh, uh, through SIFs. So let's go ahead and uh, and do a um, uh, maybe copy a file. So um, let's create a new file, mm, or even drag a new file here. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll just create a new folder. And let's call it David. David folder. So I've copied this file over SIFs or SMB. Um, so one of the things that I could do is uh, do a show mount uh, in here. So see how I can mount this um, this uh, share. So I should be able to do, um, and I think this should be good also with the short name. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and mount this as an NFS share. So it would be a uh, mount, uh, sudo mount, uh, and it would be netapp1. And this is on uh, ball, ball zero and uh, home. And uh, actually, I need to specify what's the mount point and MMT. Uh, and that would be test, I think, at that test NFS. All right, if I go uh, to that folder, notice that this is an AutoSong system. So you can see that that folder, David knows it. So David's UID is this long UID right here. If I had gone to my CentOS system, because I'm enforcing the least access principle, the user is not known to the system. So if I go over there and I do an else minus L, uh, pretty much what, what I will get is, uh, you know, I don't know David's folder here because this computer does not know who David is. But what is important is that the consistency is carried across, but at the same time, we are still uh, enforcing the least access principle. If we were dealing with a new user, for example, all we needed to do was to provide the user with the listed role in the um, filer. So in here I have my I have a, com a computer role that contains my uh, NFS Samba and proxies. So the only thing that I'm doing here, this is the Ubuntu machine that is running the proxy. The only role assignment that I'm performing is uh, at this level is the listed role. And as, as you know, the listed role basically uh, allows you to, for you to be known to the system, but you can't log into those systems. 
uh, in the case of George, George does have uh, the role assignment at the at the um, at the topmost level that allows him to be a, an administrator. So uh, if he wants to go to uh, the Ubuntu system, he happens to be logged in already, and you do an AD query user. Notice that I have all my users in here, um, and they're listed. Uh, the only person, if I do an AD uh, a DZ info. And in this case uh, is George. So George does have the run any command as root and basically can log in. But if I do, uh, let's, let's see. If I do uh, DZ do DZ info on Larry David, in this case, this user does not have any roles or rights that allow them to log in. So not only with Centrify, you can solve the problem of the multi-product protocol, uh, NetApp uh, filer or appliance or application, but you can still enforce the least access principle so your users do not have access to the systems unless you basically uh, provide them access to. So in this case, we're using the LDAP proxy. All we need to know, know is the user's Unix identity. So I give them the listed role. Uh, the only person that has the right access is a system administrator and you get all the benefits of caching and um, all, all that stuff. And I hope this series of videos actually helped and uh, hopefully we can do a, an additional one, an extra one with permission. So how we can manage uh, with a single AD group, we can manage MTFS access and also access using a Unix secondary group. I hope you enjoyed the series. Bye.